Yo, what's up, everybody? Devil May Care 4 here with my friend and homie. Mr. Howard, one, two, three. Yes, and this is a special video, actually, guys, because my friend and Roger wanted to thank you guys for the 100 subs last, last month. And this video, I've been, ho I've been wanting to watch this video and listen to these vi this song since the beginning. It's a Tales of Arise trailer and the song, we're going to listen to the song as well, Blue Moon, the full song. I love this song. I love this game. Have you ever played this game or this, heard the song, Roger? I played the game. I have the game. I never beat it. Um, I don't remember if I heard the song or not. So <sighs> it might, it might like, re, like jog my memory. So it's. I think it's only played ever at the end of the game. So maybe you never. Oh heard. well. And it's no, in one of the trailers. I, but I'm gonna tell you this real quick, man. This is my actual, and I'm not capping. You know how many games I've played, RPGs I've played? This is my actual favorite RPG of all time, ever. Mm -hmm. And it's not because it's the most current game. I liked Tales of the Abyss since up until this game came out. And Tales of the Abyss came out on the PS2 like in 2005. And I played mm -hmm. tons of RPGs between now and then. And they were all, there's a lot of good ones, but that, no, nothing ever took that spot. And it's not just Tales games. I'm talking about Final Fantasy, Xenogears, uh... Mm -hmm. whatever you know what i'm saying grandia i love those games but this particular game it's characters and it's a uh, hold on it's characters sorry someone's knocking it's characters it's story it's themes it's everything like not only is it like my favorite it inspired me to do the voiceover work stuff that you heard earlier because mm -hmm. like the characters in this game especially the protagonist are super amazing like like the way they're spoken and written and the way they behave and interact around around certain things i keep talking about it uh i don't want to keep going on i could go on but let's go ahead and listen <laughs> to this let's watch this trailer and then we're gonna listen to the song afterwards all right peggy 12. <laughs> Yeah, I've never heard this. I love this game. Right. Now the song is basically that, but it just has a lot of elements that's added that they didn't show. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it. All right. I'm telling you, bro, this game is, if you got you got to beat it, man. The ending is so satisfying. One of those endings is like, I want, I wanted these things to happen, but also I didn't expect these things to happen. And also they gave me more. It's like perfect. In my opinion, I could be, the most biased guy on earth. <laughs> but I'm telling you, bro. This song hit this game hit different for me.
Her voice sounds very, very crisp. Oh my god, bro. Like her her voice pierces through, like no matter how much is going on in the background, like you hear it clear as day. Yeah. Very very pronounced. Very good. She could change on a dime too, you heard that? a song the like you would go through and watch all your memories of everything that's happened oh bro that's funny you mentioned that that's exactly kind of what happens <laughs> <laughs> the ending is so good this plays during the ending scene such a good game it's like oh yeah this is why i love you all this stuff happened <laughs> wow you're smart actually Goosebumps. <laughs> it's a, a beautiful voice. Oh, dude, yeah. It's like the best, actually. And uh, yeah, man, I'm telling you, bro. Ugh, the ending, the game, the characters' relationships, like her and Alfin, like the most realistic relationship I've ever seen in a game. And I know that's like probably like a little weird to say, but like they don't. It's like not just a stereotypical that they don't like each other in the beginning because Alfin doesn't hate her ever. Alfin's like, this is kind of like a little bit of spoiler warning. I'm not going to spoil it, but Alfin is like the most, the way he reacts to her behavior 
Because in the beginning, she's kind of sundered, like, you know, like, like, I'm not, I'm only helping you because I need you, not because she cares or whatever type stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I and, remember that. He calls her out on her shit, though. He's like, okay, yeah, right. Like, like, you need to cut the shit and quit acting like this. You know, like, he tells her pretty much, like, cut it out. Like, you're acting weird. You're, you're supposed to be grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, he catch it, cut, cuts it, calls her out, and then she calls him out on stuff, too. So it's like, they they build that respect over time. Like, it's not just like, oh, you're a guy, I'm a boy, I'm a girl, let's fucking be in love with each other, because that's the way it's supposed to be. Like, it's not like that. It's built. It's very built, and it feels natural when they, when they do end up, like, liking each other. And, um, when you were saying, when you were saying, it feels like they remembered, oh, this is why I love you, that's like pretty much exactly what's going on. Like, the mm-hmm. thing, I'm not gonna say what happens at the end, um, but that is very prominent, and you could tell he has they have faith in each other during the, the time when they need to like the point where it matters yeah. the most and that's yeah and i hmm. and i could tell like i could tell from the the just in the beginning of the game like when they first meet each other and like yeah they're gonna get they're gonna get together <laughs> but the journey is the the part i need to experience and it's happens. it's crazy because like it's not even it's always sort of like it's because it's like a stereotypical trope but mm-hmm. There are points where in the game where I feel like they don't like each other. They actually legitimately are sick of each other or like, or like it's not even their concern to like each other at the moment. So it's bigger things to worry about. Mm-hmm. But, but it, always, it always shines through that they do have feelings for each other in the, in, in the end or like throughout. Especially Alpha, man. He's like the most like Alpha Chad protagonist ever, bro. The dude's godlike. Literally is, uh, and I'm saying this, if he's, if you ever, <laughs> I don't think he'll ever watch this video, but if he ever watches this video, the guy who did the voice for Alpha, is like a huge inspiration for me for doing voice stuff like huge mm. like i don't remember like the last i think yeah he was like the main reason i wanted to start it like so anyway great song uh glad you liked it you need to beat the game mm-hmm. it's worth mm-hmm. it i'm telling you <laughs> even if you just don't want to be it watch the ending on youtube or something because it's insane but beating it is way better actually but yeah uh, thank you guys so much for the support and for watching the video. Tell us what you think. Sorry about going off on a tangent. This this game just means a lot to me, and this song just means as, as just as much because it's a big uh, to me a big reason why everything just kind of like like finished off perfectly, closed a, the chapter of this game. You know, like this game ends perfectly in my opinion, and uh, this song was one of the reasons for it. You know, definitely added a lot. So, mm. you guys could leave a sub. Uh, we're trying to get to 250 subs, like I said, and leave a thumbs up and let me know what else to check out if you have any suggestions. So, yeah. See you guys later. Peace.